Good morning, Twitch.tv. Good morning to YouTube as well. And, of course, good morning, Mini Motorways. We are off to Manila for today's daily challenge where there will be no roundabouts. Oh, God. And as if to taunt us with the absence of our circular road patterns, some colors of destinations will always be circles. Oh, oh, I don't know what kind of horrible, monstrous person decided on this rule set, but I know that they, much like Samurai Sam, are a bush tit. <laughs> Samurai Sam was also here first. Thank you for that, Samurai Sam. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, my eyes. They hurt. They hurt and have pain. Oh, Lord. I had to double check to see that I was actually seeing this bullshit correctly. This is bullshit. I'm sorry. You know what would go great here is if I could have a fucking roundabout. But no. No, it is not to be. Okay. All right. We'll use a bridge then. We'll use a bridge to get the reds up and over here so as to avoid them. There. Pain hurting and hurt pain are both bad things for a person to experience. They are not joyful. Here, let's do this instead. Sam wants a treat for... No, Pietas19 wants a treat for Nora, which is probably a good idea. She's already been very crazy this morning. She, she, she's fine. She's a cat. She needs a treat. Ow, come here. Come here. Hello. Hi. Good morning. We'll take another bridge. Yes. You are so meowsative. Come here. Okay. Now, we have the treat thing. I betcha if I just hold the treat near the desk, I can convince the cat to jump. You know, I probably should have enticed the cat to jump on the work desk. It's not a good idea. Hi. Come here. Come here. No, I want to lift you. I can't. There you are. Oh! Oh, hi. Oh, good morning. Oh, there's a kitty. Oh. Oh, the beast. Oh, the tiny beast. Okay, okay. Oh, you kicked the microphone. Don't kick the microphone. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Oh, you so squirmsel. Okay. All right. Hi. Hello. Oh, there's my girl. All right. Now I'm going to reach out with my hand that's currently petting you and get the treat. And you're not going to jump out of my arms. Okay? Hi. Hello. Have a treat. Oh, there's a... <laughs> you claw in my chest. There's you claw in my chest. Hi. 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 Okay. Okay. That's a claw in my chest. Oh boy. Hi. Hi. Okay. There's a good cat. All right, down you go. Down you go. Oh, God. Ow. Fucking. Itchy, scratchy, pain in the cat. Okay. This light blue can come up this way. Hello. <laughs> it is Goog's voice raised by an octave and not through... No, there, there was no game indignation for once. Oh, God. Okay. All right. <sighs> so... We, oh, hi there. Boy, you just, this thing just fucking hates me today, doesn't it? All right, let's do this, I guess. Um, We'll send the reds up over and down like so to get into there. That 
sort of works. It has not been a great week, performance or mapsy wise It's fine. We'll get through it. Uh, this yellow will come over this way, and I must point out that that is two and exactly two yellows for all of this nonsense, so probably shouldn't ought to consider that sustainable. Here, have two more yellows. These one, two, three, four yellows will bridge themselves up this way and take care of that circle and oh god okay all right listen everything's okay everything's okay please ignore the fact that i rolled out of bed at 6 43 this morning having woken up at 601 and decided now yeah, i can turn my alarm off and close my eyes for another 15 minutes and then i wound up sleeping for another 42 minutes it's fine it's totally fine Oh, Lord. I was going to say a thing. I forgot what I was going to say. Um, yesterday on Gimme Mimim, we talked about how uh, how the Mets played a historically good baseball game the day before, which is still true. It's still true. That was a very good baseball game. We also spent a fair bit of time wherein uh, I rather blithely referred to Mookie Betts as the best player the Red Sox have developed since literally Ted Williams. And that's probably going to be true. It is worth noting that at least through the first 11 seasons of their careers, Mookie Betts is only pretty much exactly as good as Carl Yastrzemski. So if one wanted to, and listen, this, okay, two things are true. One, through the first 11 seasons of their career, Mookie Betts has been pretty much exactly as good as Carl Yastrzemski. And also, Carl Yastrzemski had like 70% of his good career in the first 11 seasons of his career. So uh, I looked it up last night because Sam Sam was in the comments yesterday talking about Yaz, which is why we mentioned Yastrzemski now. Um Mookie has something like 70% of Yastrzemski's career wins above replacement in basically 40% as many plate appearances, which is funny, sort of. Uh, we'll take a motorway and, I don't know, have ourselves a think. So this circle over here is going to need more and better attention than it is currently getting. I feel like that's a fair and accurate statement. So let's do the following things. We're going to redraw this right here such that these yellows swing in like so and these reds swing up thusly. That takes all of this uh, garbage nonsense here out of the equation and we pull motorway number one and have it basically just do that. Okay. Okay. Now, of course, it's also true that... Hey, wait a second. Oh, did I... Did I accidentally overfuck some of, some of this nonsense? I didn't want to overfuck that nonsense. We just do that. Hmm. It is, of course, true that, uh... Dudes can get hurt and things can happen. I suspect that over the fullness of time, Mookie Betts will have a better career than Carl Yastrzemski. But, you know, it, I, I'm basically at that point saying Mookie Betts, Mookie Betts is a guaranteed inner circle Hall of Famer, which, I don't know, seems reasonable. I would like to think, I would like to think that as Mookie transitions into his 30s, he's probably done playing the infield on a regular basis, but has a long career ahead of him as a uh, slugging corner outfield type. Like, he'll still be a pretty good right fielder for a few years. You know, he might he might just be a, a heavily discounted Juan, a heavily discounted right-handed Juan Soto, which, I mean, listen, a heavily discounted right-handed Juan Soto sounds pretty good. Juan Soto's a significantly better hitter than Mookie Betts, to be fair. But, um, you know, if, if Mookie's got another half decade of 140 OPS plus in him, he's, 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 he's pretty good. 
What I'm getting at is Mookie Betts is pretty good. He is, in fact, better than any player the Red Sox have had since they traded him. There has not been. Here's another good metric to keep an eye on. It's been uh, four full seasons, five full seasons now, I think, because the Red Sox traded Mookie Betts before 2020, right? I think it was before 2020 that they traded him. Uh, da, 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 da. Yep, yep, yep. So, 2020 wasn't a full season. This is true. But, so we've now had five years, right? It has been five years since the Red Sox traded Mookie Betts. In those five years, the Red Sox have not had a player who is better than Mookie Betts. At the time, I'm not even saying better than the player Mookie Betts was traded for, or you know, better than the player Mookie was when he was traded. I'm saying at that very moment, the Red Sox have not had a player who's better than Mookie Betts. I wonder how long it will be, and how old Mookie Betts will have to get, and how potentially retired Mookie Betts will have to be before the Red Sox have a player who's as good as Mookie Betts. Anyway, we've got a circle over here, which is a pain in the ass. So, what can we do about that? Well, the first thing we can do about that is separate these greens. There's no need for these things to be over here. Doot. And doot, boop, boop, boop. Okay, so Jar, so Jaren Duran had a good year, and I know it's pronounced Jaren, but it's funnier to say Jaren. So Jaren Duran had a good year. He's the he he, he he's the one what had the funny T-shirt and then dropped the, well, he had the funny F bomb T-shirt and then dropped the significantly less funny, much worse F bomb on a fan, right? So, <clears throat> fuck that guy. I think those are the same guy. I'm reasonably certain those are the same guy. This is how little I've paid attention to the Boston Red Sox. Uh, they had a player put up an eight and a half win season and also call a fan the F slur. And I'm not even sure I'd remember which player that was. So, yeah. So, uh, this dark blue over here is kind of issue-tating. So... Is there anything we can... No? Alright, fine. I'm just gonna steal some dark blues then. We're gonna run a ridiculous... A, a ridiculous hoopty over here and down to there. Good morning, Hulkamat. Taunting the Red Sox over their terrible decision-making is, is, is an excellent pastime. It should be done by all peoples at all times, particularly all Red Sox fans. Goodbye to that tree. We dark blue over this way, and here's a light blue house. Uh-oh. So this light blue business, kind of, all Red Sox fans should become Mets fans? I mean, low-key true. <laughs> you're not, you're not necessary. like, you're not obligated to become Mets fans. It would have been perfectly reasonable for a Red Sox fan to become a Dodgers fan after the Red Sox decided that they cared more about maximizing Mr. Henry's on paper value than winning baseball games so you know it would have been perfectly reasonable to just follow Mookie to Los Angeles it would have been perfectly reasonable to just follow Adrian Gonzalez to Los Angeles but um anyway <laughs> the beam of the two Ooh, muscular arms yes Red Sox fans Yankees fans hating the fucking Red Sox <laughs> yes Absolutely. Uh, we'll take a motorway. And, hmm. I don't think I can trust this one house to support this business. I think that's probably a bad idea for me to do. I don't think I should do that thing. What I should do is bop this dark blue house onto this road to make it so that we have five houses supporting this business to go with the six that are currently supporting this one. Now, I could... I could separate these uh hmm. I could separate these uh 
these reds. Oh, I'm glad I didn't. I, I'm suddenly quite gladdened that I did not do that. We pop these reds up over here. We'll swing this one up this way. So now we have five reds supporting these two businesses. That should, broadly speaking, be fine. Uh, this little hunk of road I don't actually need for anything. So we'll delete it. These greens are doing okay. This blue is doing okay. These two reds are doing okay. Uh, speaking of bad money-saving trades, the GM of the reds has done some bad separating of the reds. Ah, ha, 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 ha. That's true. It's a true fact. Uh, the, the, the Cincinnati Reds are a team that even more ostentatiously and in-your-facedly does not care about winning baseball games. The, the Cincinnati Reds, uh, a team whose owner and president have literally antagonized the fan base for daring to question the notion that the Reds might, um, might, might want to be good at some point. Yeah, I listen, if I had to pick a team gun to my head to root for and support with all my soul, I would choose the Boston Red Sox over the Cincinnati Reds. That's true, I would. Now, uh, let's see here. So this yellow circle down here is presently unattendinated, and I don't even have a bridge to support it. So, oops. Don't abandon the Red Sox for the fucking Rays. Oh my god, the fucking Rays. God, did John Cena... Okay, J I don't believe that John Cena is a Rays fan. I believe that John Cena lives in Florida. Do I believe... Yeah, yeah, actually I do believe that John Cena lives in Florida. John Cena lives in Florida and knows how to pander to people. If John Cena is telling people that he's now a Tampa Bay Rays fan, that tells me that John Cena was never really a Boston Red Sox fan. And listen... That's fine. It's fine. I'm not mad that you not that you're pretending to care about the Tampa Bay Rays. I'm sure there I know people who legitimately care about the Tampa Bay Rays. It's weird, but this is true. There are people in this life who legitimately care about the Tampa Bay Rays and will even defend the barely legal dumpster of a ballpark they play in. It's a dilapidated warehouse with a baseball field in it, and not even like a good one, like a baseball field made out of tires and strung together with twine, with stupid rules and awful lights that looks like garbo shit. <sighs> we've now, <laughs> we've now pivoted from shitting on the Red Sox to shitting on the Rays. Hey, they're building a new one just as soon as the, as the town and state and county pony up all of the money for it because the Tampa Bay Rays, like many baseball franchises, are owned by a shitty gazillionaire who doesn't want to spend any of his gazillions on a thing that will make him more gazillions. The Rays are respectable in the sense that they're trying to find ways to win while running a payroll that's much lower than one they can actually afford, but they're still intentionally deflating both payroll and salary, so... <sighs> the, the Athletics are their own special brand of awful. Okay, the Athletics have their very own personal shitbag owner who's doing very own personal shitbag things. Yeah, here, here, here's a game for someone who hasn't watched a baseball game this season. Or, honestly, me. Name a Ray. Just, just name a Ray. C can you think of a Tampa Bay Ray? I can think of a Tampa Bay Rays prospect. Um, they, 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 they're, the, they're the team that has Junior Caminero, right? <laughs> yeah, you can't say Randy or Rosarena. They traded him. Here's the problem with the Tampa Bay Rays. You can't name any good player they've had. They traded him. So let's bring these greens over to here. We're just going to toss in a PCTL right this way. Bop that down there. That's going to be fun. Uh, this dark blue situation over here is only sort of kafucky. You know what? I feel as though... I have resources here. We can better deploy our resources in ways to support these business friends, okay? Better deploying resources to support our business friends is basically what towns do with chambers of commerce. 
We're just slaves to the Chamber of Commerce, like every stupid town in stupid America. Okay, here. We're going to draw motorway number three. It's going to go up this way. And you've got these, these blue houses. You know what? Actually, I don't necessarily love that idea. Here, we'll do that. That's marginally better, maybe. Motorway number three, we'll go in here, we'll get rid of all of this nonsense, get a bunch of road tiles back, get a bridge back, send this off that away. Do they still have Brandon Lau or perhaps Lowe? That's fine and good. You could have told me that the Rays had Derek Lau or perhaps Lowe, and I would have been like, I could have sworn he was retired. And listen, he was playing baseball in 2004. He's, he's retired. It's true. So... Now, if you told me that he was their pitching coach, I would believe you. I would 100% believe that Derek Lowe was the Tampa Bay Rays pitching coach. I would also believe that Derek Lowe was the Tampa Bay Rays uh, assistant personnel director or something. I don't know. The point is, fuck the Tampa Bay Rays. I feel as though we've strayed from the point. The point I should remind you is, fuck the Tampa Bay Rays. Now then, uh, this green business has spawned in a frankly terrible position. So... Everyone share your energy with the teams that won yesterday in hopes that they win today. And game threes are fun in three game series. They're weird and silly, but um, uh, true fact, I, being the uh, budding degenerate gambler that I am, um, Hulkamad insists no. Uh, are you trying to deprive these wildcard losing teams of their home playoff game? Because I feel like that's kind of the situation here. It is weird to me that the lower seeded team gets the benefit. Like, if you take one game off of the better seeded team in the wild card series, you get game three in your home stadium. That seems weird. But, and I mean, this is this is just the truth here. There really shouldn't be a three game series. That's dumb. That's dumb. I understand why it's not five or I understand why it's not seven. Certainly. But honestly, like three's better than one. If you have to do like, I'm not going to be a realist. I'm not, I'm going to be realistic in the sense that I'm not going to say, fuck this, go back to four wild, four playoff teams per league. I'm not going to say that I am going to, oh, all three are in the same ballpark. Oh, oh, I didn't know that you don't even get a fucking five. Whoa. Huh? Man, win the playoffs, win a game in the playoffs, and don't even get to the, get a fucking home playoff game. Wow. Well, sucks to suck. Uh, let's see here. Motorway number one, we're going to swing over this way because it has more houses. And then we're going to run this road just like that. So these four reds will now take care of this business from afar. It'll be fine. Hey, look at motorway. So these one, two, three, four, five, six will support this circle. These one, two, three, four will support this thing over here. As I was saying, I forgot that I forgot I was doing a thing. Uh, this green business right here has spawned in a frankly terrible location. It's it's unconscionably bad, actually. Uh, there doesn't really appear to be anything I can actually hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I can redraw several things. Hold on. So, uh, if we murder kill this road, right? We murder kill all of that road. We bring this. Voop, voop. Okay. So, we kill this, right? That allows us to slide this bridge over this way. This bridge, having been slid thus way, opens up this little corridor right here this little corridor right here i'm gonna kick its rear that's how the religious song goes right sam this little corridor here i'm gonna kick its rear this little corridor here no could have sworn that was how it went anyway uh you uh you're a little blue house it's kind of isolated from everything i could use this opportunity to shunt you into a thing but effort so instead we'll just do this down here like so this little corridor here 
I'm gonna kick its rear, kick its rear, kick its rear. It's gonna be stuck in my head all day now. Good job, Goog. <sighs> the good news is this little corridor here is in fact the title of the episode. I should make a channel point reward that's just, hey, I said a thing, you can make it the title of the episode. I should actually do that. That's a legitimately good idea. Let's put this light blue house on this road right there. Okay. Uh, swing this down that away. So this yellow circle is currently being supported by three houses, which is not nearly as many houses as you want to support a thing. Over here, we've got, and you know what? Hold on. Better idea. Boop, boop, and boop. We can do this thing. So such that these five right here can, uh, actually, you know what? Let's do a thing. We're gonna move motorway number three such that this group of dark blues supports that dark blue because that'll be a shorter run than this and motorway number four will go not quite due north and support all of them. There. Okay, so. Doing all right, not necessarily super awesome, great or nothing, but we're doing all right. Uh, oh, fuck you. Seriously, seriously, are you really and truly doing this? Re here, have another, fine. So this business got angry because it was temporarily unsupported for a minute, but now it's gonna be fine, we're catching up. Uh, this over here is kind of a problem. You know what? Actually, we're gonna do this to get a third going that away. And in order to make amends for that, we're gonna pull this over here and swing that like so. So now we have one, two, three, four going up here, and one, two, three going in here. This should actually be okay for once. Great. Now then, uh, one, two, three, four, five supporting this circle is a okay skis. Uh, you are a bunch of green fuckers. This bunch of green fuckers can probably get, uh, actually, you know what? Hold on. Hold everything. Wait a moment. Doot, doot. Uh, doot like so. If you all wanted to doot that way, and then doot thusly, if you doot thusly, we can have a perfectly cromulent traffic light right there and then bring this up to here and in there and that way these one two three four five six can be in charge of supporting this i can reclaim a bridge we can have these one two threes join the support this square thing brigade and everything will be a little bit better yay okay so that's good. That's pleasant. That's beneficial, I think. We've still got... I think the biggest issue right now is this yellow... Ha 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 ha. Ha. Hi there. I don't recall endorsing your presence. Who sanctioned you? Who gave you the green light? Did I green light you? I don't think I green light you. I don't think you... Yeah, no. Um, hmm. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's see here. Let's... Bop and murder this yellow here and do that. So this yellow will swing down into motorway number two, which is frustrational but gonna have to be fine then having freed up this road here I think what I'll do is yoink one of these reds and one of this red to yeah I'm not well actually this is just one yeah let's yoink another red that'll probably wind up being fine ish so we just verp like so. 
So these one, two, three reds can go into this business. Uh, this Garbo circle here, you know what, actually, let's reclaim that bridge. I'm just gonna swing motorway number two out like such. And this clump of four yellows will now be the primary support vector for this business nonsense right here. Okay. And even more good news, uh, by adding friends and places to a thing, I can slightly increase the number and availability of yellow fuckers on my road ski here. So we can do uh, something akin to this and then run that and then PCTL right here. Brilliant. I love it. So now we have five yellows supporting this circle and four yellows with a simple straight shot motorway supporting this circle. And this red house is well supported and this red circle is only slightly very angry at things. So actually, you know what? Um, let's bring you back and slide you down here. And now you're just two houses supporting one square, which is eh, basically fine. It's okay-ish. It's not the worst thing in the world, I assume. There's like capitalism and murder and uh, don't say that when gook, you'll get in a lot of trouble. Uh, I've got three bridges. Let's take a couple traffic lights just in case we need any more of those for the rest of the run. I'll staple a couple more dark blues onto the road up to this circle. That should be fine. Oh, let's see here. How's everything doing? This green circle is looking good. We got cars and driveways down this way. This red circle is looking pretty okay. We've got cars and driveways over like such. This red house spawned in a very nice place. This green business didn't, but, um, well, yeah, no, it just didn't. Hmm. Okay. Uh, is there a... I mean, there is, but it's rather deep in my colon. So is there a way for me to get greens over to here that doesn't suck? No. You know what would go down great right now that I don't have is a fucking roundabout. A fucking roundabout right the fuck here? Oh, that would be nice. Oh, I would be very happy for that presence, but no. But no, if we do this, I can put this greenhouse, which had previously been doing nothing, onto this road, which will help somewhat mitigate the loss of these two greenhouses right here. These two greenhouses right here are gonna have to do an unfortunate uh, hairpin turn like such, cause like fuck if I'm gonna have them loop all the way up and over around the building, that's a bad idea. Don't do that. That's a bad idea. Mmm, Gatorade Zero. Wait a second, did a couple of... Oh, hi! Oh, a couple of friendly green spawns just happened. Hi, Alan. Your names are Alan and Alan, you're the green spawns. Ooh, it's a Federal Reserve joke. <laughs> Monetary policy humor, anyone? No? Okay, fine. Probably for the best. Did another green spawn in here? Another green spawned in here. Thank you. Well, then. That's perfectly fine. I'm not going to complain about that. You are red. You can go up that away. Uh, this over here has gone circular. So, boop and boop. Sam, thank you for... <laughs> For correctly, I, I didn't even think about the double spelling of Alan, but yes, their names are Alan and Alan. They're the green spawns. Oh, God, I crack me up. Let's take a fourth bridge. Probably need that more than a third traffic light. We'll see. Uh, this red circle down here now has four houses supporting it, which isn't a ton of houses, but we can steal a fifth if I need one. Uh, do I need one? I think I need one. Yeah, it's a circle. We'll steal a fifth house. It'll be fine-ish. 
you still have a car in a driveway down here, so that's probably okay for now. Uh, I could loop this garbage up that away, but would have to use a bridge. I don't know that I necessarily want to use a bridge just to get this dark blue house involved in anything. It doesn't seem like a great idea. TBQH. Uh, let's pop you going up this way. And while we're doing that, look, we've got all these light blue cars in driveways. I'm just going to do that. By doing that, we get another blue house down to this business here. And then we slightly optimate the route planning over here. That should basically be fine. Give me a motorway. Thank you very much. Uh, as soon as I gave you extra support, you decided to become a circle, which makes me the smartest goog there ever was. I'm a genius or something. And now you're a shitbag. Okay. Well, this is probably okay, actually. Like, I think we're gonna be fine. Here, observe the ways in which we are fine. We're going to take this green road here. And unfortunately, we are gonna use a bridge and, a, and an awful hairpin turn. It's the two worst things in the world, bridges and Bridges and hairpin turns. Actually, yeah, those are the two worst things in the world. So, we're going to use a bridge and a hairpin turn to get these three greens down into here, hook them up into this, uh, this square business right there. That, then, frees up access to this light blue business, which we can satisfy with motorway number five. Just like so. So you one, two, three blues come down over here. I may or may not have been considering ways to loop you into the support and love of this business here, but we don't have to worry about that. It's totally fine. Uh, here. This red looks like it spawned very close to seven ways in which it can help people. And yet it kind of can't. I can't even herk this road out of the way so as to bop it in because well, this yellow house is right here, rendering this road uh, pretty fairly unharkable. So, hmm. Okay. I see here. Uh, your yellow house, you can point up that away. Get optimized that way. Get optimized, idiot. <laughs> uh, you yellows swing down this way, provide further support up over here. That should be fine. Uh, another dark blue here. Man, I could go for a roundabout right about now. Right here, oh, that would be so good. And yet, and yet, uh, render unto me a fourth bridge. We'll probably need that more than a third traffic light. This red house here can't really be pointed anywhere helpful, which is unfortunate. Uh, you're a nice, useful blue. We'll slide you over here. I could restructure motorway. No, actually, yeah. Long-term support and all that. We're just going to restructure motorway number five. Uh, this business is going to be angry in the short term, but in the long term, it's going to have a slightly shorter commute for this on-ramp having been moved one tile to the east. So you're going to be fine. See, you didn't even get properly angry. You just got a little bit backed up. That's fine. If you have a breakfast burrito, you get a little bit backed up and then everything works its way through and you're totally okay. You'll be fine. Uh, you've gone circular, which, hmm, I feel like that fairly inaccurately sums up my opinion on the situation. Just, hmm, uh, yeah, I don't really have a solution to that right now. Also, um, this is, this is starting to become, hmm, and this thing here is kind of a problem, like, Okay, so problem situations. This dark blue circle has four houses of support, which isn't really enough support 3,700 trips into the, into the map. Uh, this dark blue circle only has three houses, but it's hanging in there. This red circle only has two houses, so it's not. Yeah, Sam has, Sam has noticed the, the bubbling imminent doom, which would also be a wonderful title for the episode, by the way. The Bubbling Imminent Doom. Oh, 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 that's such a good title. But um, we're not using it. Instead, we're, oh boy, oh, let's see here. So, hey, you know what? Hey, wait a second. 
I have a potentially bad idea. So we've got this 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 long wiggly motorway number one, right? What if we like didn't though? What if instead we just had these four reds just kind of burk themselves up this way? Can, 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 can you burk yourself in that way? I don't know, actually. We're going to find out. So if we do that, though, we can murder kill motorway number one. Having successfully murder killed motorway number one, we can then... Mm, sort of overfuck this light blue here. And we're going to have to remove this light blue from anything approaching usefulness. But if I do that, I can then point all of these reds down here, like so. Voop, voop, voop. We can killinate all of this garbage. These reds, like here, can go up that away. So now we have more support going this way. Uh, basically the same or perhaps a little bit more support going this way. And decent, okay, livable support going this way? I mean... On paper, that all seems to make sense. I can definitely, you know, piece together some logic and also pull a couple more blue guys over here so as to better support this circle. That all seems fair and reasonable. Um, yeah. Now, the question is, can this business survive with four houses stapled to it, which I, I don't know. It'll be fine, maybe? It might be fine. Uh, you can't say for sure that it won't be fine. There's every indicative possibility that it could, in some universe, be fine. Now, uh, as to whether or not this can be fine, well, I mean, this business has been getting along just fine with three houses already. So, there are weirder scenarios than one in which it continues to get along with three houses. And if it does, then I've just added a fifth house going up here. Uh, yeah, nothing's been actively on flambe as of yet. I feel as though there are some very operative words in that sentence, but we don't have to worry about that. We can basically think of it as being okay. Now, I could get these two greens here. I could get these two greens here to loop down this way and join this road, but uh, this business doesn't really need the support and these houses are just barely hanging on here. So I feel like that would just create more trouble than it's worth. I could also hook these four blues up as the support system here, which actually I was gonna shit on as a bad idea, but but I could then use these four houses to help support this nonsense. So yeah, let's do that, actually. Let's just take the four of you. We're gonna swing motorway number five out westerly, like so. This is gonna be a little bit longer, but I think it'll, broadly speaking, be okay. So we take all of this, we run this nonsense out and over like so. We staple exactly like that. This is a perfectly cromulent traffic light. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, this perfectly cromulent traffic light swings in down this way, and now we just added four houses of support to this stupid ass business. Brilliant. Next problem. Uh, what is the next problem? This dark blue circle here. Okay. You know what? I think it's time that we admitted uh, defeat in the battle of the presence of the dark blue circle, or something. I don't know. Here. Uh, we could do a long dark blue blue long dark blue bridge that snakes its way up through this way and gets up into here but we'd have to deal with this cut over we'd have to possibly overfuck this road that way it would be a whole thing i have a better i have a different idea not necessarily a better one just a different one this one might or might not be better let's take you know what we're gonna point all of these reds up this way all of those reds are going to point up that way. We've got all of this garbage nonsense right here. We're going to kill and destroy this road. These blues are going to slide in to the south. 
and we've got a little bit of a funkily placed uh, actually no we don't what am I doing let's unfunkily place motorway number four so we shorten motorway number four right motorway number four now starts here hooks up that away we've got all of a sudden eight houses supporting this bullshit great next we can also draw a new no a new motorway number one coming over this way like so so these eight red houses haha <laughs> have a very tiny little straight shot motorway right into here okay you know what i'm so confident that this is working out that i'm actually going to steal one of the eight houses and make this a seven house thing situation going up this way and you can have a fourth going that away okay everything's going to work itself out uh this blue circle is now angry which i understand you're kind of sort of a little bit under supported relatively so i don't know exactly how i want to solve that problem but i acknowledge that it is a problem which is a start Sam is correct that there's no way in hell I'm getting 10,000 trips if for no other reason than that I have to be on a Zoom call at 9. So um, we're, we're 46 minutes. Well, we're 46 minutes in and I'm 4,700 trips in. So I suppose anything's possible, but I don't think it's a, I don't think that's going to happen. Now, speaking of things that aren't going to happen, uh, this, well, this green here just went circular, which kind of blows, but, but. I can, in fact, redraw this road such that that doesn't immediately overfuck everything. And while we're here, I can use one of my many bridges to do this. So this circle here is gonna be temporarily unsupported while we wait for this bridge to come out. And that's gonna be a problem. I'm aware of this issue. We're gonna deal with that in a second. Just as soon as I can get this bridge out of here. Okay. So we pause that. We bring this bridge back down this way. Okay. So now you are a light blue fucker. It's a true and accurate statement. I shall hear no, uh, I shall brook no disagreement. You are a light blue fucker. Now you're presently supported by six houses, which are kind of wimbly wombly in with some timey whiny red house shenanigans let's get all of these ancillary color things off of your road uh you know what we can do while i'm here is run these yellows down over this way get a couple more yellow houses of support going for this business which didn't really need the support but will accept it nonetheless it's gracious like that now then uh we also staple this yellow to that road support that business that's cool uh, this green's doing okay. All right, back to this light blue problem. So, the obvious answer is something, 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 dark side, something, something, something complete, which is not really an answer so much as it is a Family Guy reference. In terms of finding an answer, well, hmm. Don't know that I have one. Let's take this to point you somewhere where you're not getting in the way because i think you might be getting in the way we kill all of this road right we kill all of that road we repoint this house here if we repoint this house here that means we can swing and hook down this way and now i have gotten a sixth house involved going that way additionally i can do this with another pctl all that's gonna do for me is get this light blue house involved right here i don't necessarily love that and i have to be very careful not to let any reds touch this road for fear that they start trying to get into this business because that would suck but i think that might be okay might be okay you know what else we can do actually 
we can. If I'm if I reposition motorway number one, if I do that and then reposition motorway number one, we can have you and you and you take motorway number one, right? That means that this house here is not actually connected to motorway number one. All of this Garbo nonsense jumps up that away. This further Garbo nonsense swings in like so. And now we have one, two, three, four, five, six red houses on a straight shot motorway going into here. And all of this crap going up into here. And that should, broadly speaking, be fine. Maybe. Just maybe. This light blue house has spawned in an okay, although not excellent, position. Uh, we're just going to need some time for this all to straighten itself out. It might or might not be okay for a minute. If it turns out to have been okay for a minute, well, that's just lovely. All right. Hey, you remember like a thousand trips ago when I said that this greenhouse business did not need the two greenhouses right here that I could have stapled to it? It now needs them. So I'm just going to do that. That'll free up. Yep. You see these two greenhouses, they can start spewing dudes this way. And if you spew dudes that way for long enough, uh, this business will be fine. This business here, not going to be fine. Gonna go out on a limb, that business might just be fucked, actually. Uh, we'll use the last of our bridges, getting this greenhouse into the network to support this business. This light blue here, I think, is actually catching up, which is amazing. I'm gonna take traffic lights, because I do have motorways. So if I need myself, if I find myself in bridge need, I actually have a motorway. You are a square with five houses and are angry. That's how deep we are into this run. Okay, well, now you're a square with six houses. Fucker. Huh, is she here? Still mad, still mad, somehow still mad, despite the fact that I really thought I had saved you for a second there. Um, we're not gonna let that red be connected to anything. Actually, this red can come down here and technically be connected thusly. Uh, these greens are gonna fucking die. I thought I had solved the problem of those greens, but no, it turns out those greens are just gonna fucking die. Um, we might have to accept that everything's just gonna fucking die, actually. Like, well, hold on, you're a green. You're a green that ain't doing nothing. You can just hook down this way and probably overcomplicate that more than I had assumed you would. Let's pretend that'll be fine. Oh good, I'm glad that's fine. Uh, this tree does not need to be murdered, but it does need to be the staging ground for motorway number six, which will come straight into here and overcomplicate this to death. All right, everybody go. Everybody go. Light blue circle, are you actually okay? I don't think you're actually okay. I think you're not actually okay. I think this red is, is kind of mad at me. I think this house with a straight shot motorway and four things. Yeah, everything's just mad. Everything's just mad. Listen, we got to 5,700 before having to concede that everything was just mad. I've taken my hands off of the mouse and keyboard. This is what it's going to be. How far are we going to get? Can we break 6,000? It would be nice if we broke 6,000. I don't know if we're going to, but the number ticks up so fast. Look at the number ticking up so fast. Oh, my God. God, all 6,000. Sam, I don't know how I can solve all of the problems with one motorway, so I'm not even going to try. We got over 6,100. Hey. All right, fine. We got to another week. We have two motorways. Fine. Let's see here. So you're a red. You can come over here and be part of that nonsense. You are a red. You can come over here and be part of that nonsense. That's going to solve that problem. This is not actually a problem. I have two motorways. Do I have any clumps of unused red? I have one unused red house down here. I have one unused red house over here. I have... No, I have two unused red houses. Oh, I have one. I have three unused red houses, all of which are deeply isolated from everything else on the map. Okay. Hey, you know what? Wait, I do have a traffic light. What if I did that? That is actually a perfectly cromulent traffic light. 
<laughs> fucking amazing. Oh, hi, you're a dark blue. I don't want you connected to anything. Get, 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 get away from the things. I don't like you. You shouldn't be connected to things. Um, okay, so we have a traffic light here. We've solved all of the red problems in the world. Uh, do I have a clump of unused light blues? No, but I do have you. Uh, you're a light blue house that previously hadn't existed. You can come over here. I've definitely solved that problem forever. Now, uh, do I have any... I don't have any clumps of unused anything, honestly. But, um... Yeah, fuck it, just go. Yeah, fuck it, just go. We got over 6,000. We got over 6,200. It's a tremendous score. I'm very happy. Also, it's 755. Oh, my God. It's 755. I do have to get ready for work. We're not even going to do, like, any of the ancillary stuff. The secondary... Hold on. I sneezed. The secondary games shall be sunsetted for the day that we'll see them again tomorrow. 6,327 commuters. Oh, oh, redemption for me. Redemption for the underscore Goog number one in the world. Oh. Oh, we take those. Oh, we take those. Samurai Sam cracked the top 10 and yet drop those GGs in the chat. Oh, oh my God, that felt good. That was a good and satisfying run. Folks, thank you so very much for being part of today's edition of Good Morning Mini Motorways. I will be back tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock Eastern for another edition. Until then, thank you all for being here. Have a good day. Goodbye. Yes, more powerful power washer. This might make a massive difference. Oh, yes. Oh, the more powerful power washer. Oh. You remember that shit which I previously couldn't get with the yellow nozzle? Now I can get it with the yellow nozzle. <laughs> yes.